Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Fraud at a Roundup with Sheriff Wyatt A. Moron. Want to welcome you back to my channel. Help my channel continue to shrink by clicking on that notification bell. Share my videos, commenting on my videos. Take that there like button, like it, dislike it. Invite it over for Thanksgiving dinner, but get the wrong address. 1060 West Addison in Chicago. So today's just going to be an update. It's a video I did a couple weeks ago. Chris Ryder and Tiffany Napier. Channel names are for public safety and official misconduct, respectively. Well, they go down to the Meade County Sheriff's Office acting a damn fool and wind up in cuffs. Now, we've already seen this footage in all its pixelated glory on Tiffany's cricket phone. But today we're going to see the surveillance cam coverage. And their claims that you're going to hear them screaming about, about excessive force, being arrested for no reason. Well, that's going to go right out the window. And since I've done this video already, I may not be jumping in as often as I usually do. So I'm cutting out a lot of the dead air. We'll just get to the juicy parts. But the juiciest, this young man at the bottom right just putting out the vibe. How about that, ladies? Check out that fat booty. <laughs> so what do you say? Let's round us up some frauditors. Oh. What's wrong with you? Who is that? What's her name? That woman just told her to stop helping me. Wait for our car to get Yeah, but why did you tell her that? She needs to walk away. No, she does not need to walk away. Who are you? Who are you? Are you a boss? Yes, it is my business. Who are you? Oh, I'm saying, It is my business. Who are you? I mean, seriously. Who are you? Identify, ma'am. She must want to be a Becky or a Karen. Guys, you want to name her Becky or Karen? Why would that? Why would that woman? Can I get a copy of those, please? I'll pay for it. Copy yeah, and don't let them get out of everybody's sight. I want to be able to watch after that. Sorry, I, did, I was trying to stay out, and then I realized. Don't trust your government. That this. Uh, this no. is why you record everything. Keep an eye on. Her. She's going to the copy machine. Make sure nothing happens. None of the All right. right. Definitely a Karen. Down. They're trying to falsify evidence against me in another case. Well, All right. Believe. Everybody says she's a Karen, so we're going to go with Karen. Well, I don't want to make this a marker, guys. Like, this is this needs to be as what? utmost professional as possible. Look, I just got one thing to say to that. Bitch, please. You can spell utmost professional as possible if I spotted you the U-T-M-O-S-T-P-R-O-F-E-S-S-I-O-N-A-L-A-S-P-O-S-S-I-B-L. Well, and that's what that woman if we don't just have destroyed. A name to call Will her you by? please tell me who that woman was, ma'am? I'm, I'm not going to give any names. Well, I mean, but you do identify to the public when they ask, right? In this office? You're supposed to. Any employee government employee, employee is supposed Sorry. to share are you who they are. I don't have my badge with me. No. No. Do you all identify who you are when you're when you're talking to the public? That's a no. Well, that's a no for that one. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, let me have that spot back. All right. And people wonder why we do the recordings. <laughs> she was great. She was being great. Like, and I mean, she didn't have any answers for me. I didn't have high expectations. Right. I wasn't expecting nothing out of the line. She was doing great. And then that woman walks up and says, you need to walk away from it. Don't help him anymore. Oh, look, we got company. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Excuse me. Doing very well, thank you. That's yeah, your way there. How y'all doing? Doing good, how are you? Uh, I've been better. I've been treated better, too. What can we help you with? Uh, well, it was at the clerk's office that needs to help me with this stuff. Um, I think they're the ones that called you because some woman just came up and told my clerk to not help me anymore with my record, the business I'm here for. Okay. That's what just happened. So I told her I want to know who she is. We would like to know and who she is so we can follow up on the complaint. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So the reason, probably the reason why they don't want to help you is because 
Y'all got cameras all over there. Well, that's something. Hey, look, man, there's one right there. And we record all of our business because we have to keep everyone accountable. And that's how we do that is by recording everything. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Mead County does too. Because this video is going to keep you two knuckleheads accountable. Okay. So, so, sir, I got court. Right, thank you. What's, uh, what are y'all doing with him? Excuse me. They're making copies of our documents. Well, we want to see if we can make some copies for him at court, but we have the right to refuse to be recorded. There's an order from the judge that we're so. There's no order from a judge saying I can't record? Yeah. We're allowed to record our so business that we're conducting. Oh, I'm Chief Deputy Wyatt. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. But if you start making them feel uncomfortable and stuff, I can tell you to leave. Well, hold on, sir. I mean, wait a minute. Before you can leave, I'll arrest you for disorderly okay. conduct. You already threatened me with arrest? Oh, no, I'm not threatening you. Trust me. Well, why did you just say that? Let, let I don't me, make threats. Let me go. Get, what is it? You get promise? your copies? And then no, I have, no, I need more than copies. I'm waiting on Ellen. Let them tell you the mm -hmm. truth. Get your copies and y'all can go. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yes, y'all. Oh, no, I won't. Somewhere. I mean, we're, we're not going to leave until, until we're done conducting our business, sir. Get your copies, you whatever you, you want. I'm Chief Deputy Waddy with the Sheriff's Office. Deputy. And, and you don't yes. know to, to treat the public Trust better me, than this? What are you doing this for? This is my record. I got court tomorrow. You get your copies. You want, I will. You get your copies. I don't just need copies. Leave. If you knew what was going You're on. You're not going to keep these ladies up here. I'm not keeping them up there doing nothing except for their job. You, a camera you should. Know, a camera should. You know their job. Yes. This is what I'm sitting for from Frankfurt. What is the job of the circuit court clerk? To go over these records with me. Oh, what is it? To explain them. To explain them to she you? She handles the records. Right. She handles documents. She makes copies. She look does violence. Show me the open that. records access for him. Show me that. Or just tell him the statute. You look it up. Show me that. You look it up. No. You show me the statute to open records. I didn't tell show him. Tell him the number. Show me. You know her job. Open records. I do believe I do. it's KRS. I know this is the clerk's office, and these are clerk's records. And it's this not, has questionable so what is her talk. job? This has questionable stuff. What is her job? To tell me what this is about. You don't want answers from everybody else, but you don't want to give answers. What are you talking what about? How is it our job to tell what you, you what you their said, job is? You said, did you come in here to escalate the situation? Oh, I'm not escalating nothing. The no. hell you are. You, you know what you ought to do? You ought to go and get this Let's you, get on you out You need here. to go right. away. Yeah. So this is where the fireworks begin. So let's watch closely. Do we see excessive force on the part of the sheriff? Or do we see resisting arrest and physically obstructing an arrest. Let me know. Get a rope. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just go oh, to jail then. You, what? <laughs> Hold up. Get Jesus, your man. hands off of him. Get your hands off of him. Why are you shaking so bad? Well, Don't you touch me. If you touch me, you're going to get in a pickle. Oh, my God. Do not touch me. Oh, I wouldn't laugh. Don't touch that, me. Hey, that. You just messed you up. Go to messed up. You do I want to go? go? Get another rope. I, I would not do that if I were you. you, you, you don't do? fucking get oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. You want to get tased? Hey, you want to get tased? Hey, put your hands on your back. Get off of her. Get off of her. Yeah, my hands off behind my back. Turn put your hands behind your back. Let's see that in an instant replay. Oh yeah, I'm McLovin. I'd like to buy. Get my Are you gonna get tased? Hey, stop manhandling that woman. Help! Help! We need some help. Help! help. Get your hands off of me! I need my stuff. Get your hands off of me! Pick those up! You're being much more kind. Pick those up! You're an officer. You're not supposed to let me escalate like this. That's excessive force, and you know it. What the fuck? That fucking hurts, Dude, stop hurting her! Those are my fucking court records on the floor. That hurts! Let's look at that from a different angle. Nothing to arrest Let's us go. on. Get it all in a second. Let's go. There was nothing to arrest Wait, us on. Disorderly 
conduct. Let's go. There is no disorderly Rip conduct Rip except for you. Rip her. Oh, lady, you know this body cam's gonna show it. Not good. What's wrong with you, man? Ain't nothing wrong with me. The hell, there ain't nothing wrong with you. You're fucking out of control. You think? I just needed records okay. for court. For court. Well, you ever go to court? Tomorrow. You will be in court. Tomorrow's arraignment day, so you can tell it to us tomorrow. Oh, I guarantee it. Oh, sorry, We weren't being disorderly. You were. Okay. You were being disorderly. Okay. You need to fix this car. And the way you were handling her for what? What did she do to you? It's called resisting. Huh? What was she doing to you for you to use excessive force like that? Because I told him to not touch me. He didn't want to be on camera. You know that whole thing was live, buddy? I don't care about me. No, no, will care. You will care. You will care. We've gotten many cops fired for doing that. Kind All righty. Well. Now what you say? You're next. Good luck. Don't push me. You ain't first. Do not push me. Shut your mouth. Well, can you stop there? pushing me? Sit the tire. What are you doing? Hit me on the ground. Scream, record this. Put your hands up. Delete it. Stop pushing us. Sit down. Stop pushing us. 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 I'm not sitting. I'm not doing anything wrong. You don't know that. Look at me. You, you were there. When it escalates, when they ask you to do something, you need to stand for this That's not how American rights work, ma'am. We weren't breaking any laws. But that's your job. It's no law. My eyes are up here. Don't worry about the camera. You know what he just did. You know what he's doing is excessive force. Your job is to protect me from that as a sheriff department employee. You're a constitutional law enforcement. Well, you need to respect our constitutional rights. And what he's doing, way out of line, you know it. Miss Not K N O T T. Miss Not, if he's hurting her, stop him. Stop him. She's kind of broken back. She is yeah. She's not resisting. Now what you say? Y'all say what? Step in what? How the hell you say? He's the one that made a mistake. And pushing us around in that room for just trying to get my records? You kidding me? You didn't have the right to tell us to leave that room. We paid for that room. We paid for that service. All I was trying to do was get my records for court tomorrow. There you go. I think you all already knew that. Yes, you are. Did you look? Did you know that I was here for my records for tomorrow's court? And then how did he mention it? Tell me that don't. How did he mention my court date tomorrow? Rain at 10 a.m. No, you're not going to talk about that. Tell me how he knew I had to meet tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Will you ask him? Will you ask him? Sir, how did you know that I had court tomorrow morning at 10 a.m.? Because you're going to jail for disorderly conduct. That's not a good answer. That answer doesn't make sense. How did you know, you know that I had an arraignment tomorrow morning at 10 a.m.? Since you know so much about the law. I don't. You know your uh, Miranda rights, right? You have the right to make it silent? Why don't you practice that, right? Why don't you not worry about me knowing what I'm going to do in my case? And how did you know? Don't get involved. How did you know about my arraignment tomorrow morning? I didn't know about your arraignment you said it on You said it in the hallway. I did. You'll have arraignment tomorrow morning on these charges. On oh, these charges? Yeah. That's what you're referencing? Because I have court in in Hardin County at 10 a.m. Well, I have nothing to do with it. Hold still. You didn't know about it? I have nothing to do with it. You Hardin sure you County. didn't know about that? You know what? I ain't here bartering with you. Oh, that's usually what they say when they did know. How the hell would I know what's going on in Hardin County? Well, because you cops talk to each other about stuff. Are you sure that this isn't... What do you think I'm here for? I'm trying to figure that out. That's why I'm here. That's what you just attacked me for doing. To try to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. And you just attacked me for asking the clerks. I want to know what happened just to anybody else. Have a seat. 
I don't need to see it. Sit down. It's not a request. Well, why? Because I said so. I don't want you're to You're under arrest. You're not free to go. I don't so you're say, I'm not Sit down or I'm going to set you down. Oh, wow, man. You are excessive for Sit team. down. You're ready to throw it down on me too, aren't you, Walden Hank? Sit down. Aren't you? Sit down. Aren't you? What are you, do we have you ID do? on you? Yeah, so what? Where's your ID at? So it's up your ass, you'd know. Yeah, if it's up your rump, you jump to. You don't have permission Stand to get my pocket. You don't have permission to be in my pocket. I don't need it. Search incident to arrest. I know how it works. Mr. Smarty Pants. No. But I get I to tell you that this is all under arrest because when I proved that you did not have a lawful reason well, to detain you. Well, thing. Y'all won't get your off. cameras back it's, until... Uh, that won't come off. Until after your court date's done. Because these are being held for evidence. Mm -hmm. All righty. So, you think that'll matter? You think... Nice try. You, you think you're the only one we should ever dealt with like this? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think... Really? Mm -hmm. So, you do this to people that just come ask for the records, huh? I do this to if people... If they have a camera? I do this to people who uh, show their ass. You do this to people that are requesting records. Am I right or wrong? If they no. have a camera? No, not as long as they uh, okay, ask the proper way. Okay. What? I was. Okay. I was asking the proper way. No, I can't. Okay. Because you got this strap hanging back here. There you go. Mm. That was an unlawful attainment. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. It won't be disorderly. Okay. You can, uh, Having a camera in the clerk's office is not disorderly. Do you know what it takes to get disorderly? For me, please. The woman that was helping me was doing great with me. I was trying to figure out what was going on with my case. But if you've got a case in Hardin County... It's for fraud. Not me. Somebody frauded me. Somebody used my oh, name over here. back in 1998. Okay. So the court records are what I need to prove that it wasn't me. I was in this jail at that time. If you want to know what I did, it was a battery back when I was 19 years old. Okay. You got anger problems too, don't you? I solved mine. <laughs> no. Yeah, you do, buddy. Shit. You're real bad. Okay. You're everything we all stand against. You are exactly what people are scared of in law enforcement, 100%. Yes, you are. And I don't have to be paying to know that. Because you just laid your hands all over me and my girlfriend for nothing. Ray is not that bad of a guy. But oh, I don't care about how he is as a guy. I care about how he is as a cop. You ask him, he asked you to do something, that's what he expects. But that's not how law works, especially if you're a sheriff department employee, because you're supposed to be constitutional law enforcement. The rest of them don't have to do that. You want to be a state cop, go be a state cop. You want to be a city cop, go be a city cop. You don't have to abide by the by the federal constitution as those officers. But when you're a sheriff's department employee, you follow the federal constitution, not the state. You can do the state too, but you have to follow the federal constitution. You are the source for our protection, for our constitutional rights, federal level. And what you just did was violate them on purpose. And you put your hands on us. That's Fourth Amendment. What a big old bowl of stupid right there. No wonder an elevator outsmarted this guy. And we have the right to do business in the clerk's office with cameras. As long as we don't go behind any non-publicly accessible areas, which we did not. We were in the lobby where the cameras are. I was recording it because I don't have time to wait for the response because I have to go to court tomorrow and I was going to present the video as evidence that I was requesting records for my trial. So the judge might give me more time to wait for my responses which is what I needed to get on recording so that I could show the judge. But you came in there and started manhandling us. Just because we wouldn't leave when you told us to leave for no reason whatsoever. You can't trespass someone who is doing business lawfully, which we were. <clears throat> That's the reason for those laws. What you just violated is the reason those laws exist. Are you following me, ma'am? No, I'm not hear you. Do you all even know what you walked into when you come in that room? I told you earlier, I'm not going to argue this case with you. I'm not going to talk well, about it wasn't, this case. There wasn't nothing 
nobody was being threatened. Nobody was being overly loud. Nobody was doing anything wrong. Literally, the only thing we were doing is asking the woman's name, who was on the other side of the walls, because she walked away after telling the clerk to stop helping me for no reason. She said, stop and walk away from him right now. And I said, who are you? Why would you tell her to do that? And that's what y'all came into. Okay. And that's, see, it. that's your side. I don't know the other side. No, that's side. what happened. It's okay. on video. And it could be. So how about this? Y'all watch the video? You want to watch the video so you can see? We don't have access to those. Yeah, you have access if I show you. My oh, you video. the ones, your videos. Yes, oh, ma'am. I'll you show you the video. You want to watch it? Oh, you can't do it right now. You're in We can't get you out of handcuffs right now. You guys do it. You got my phone, don't you? I have no idea where your phone ended up at. Well, wouldn't that be the making a mistake of an unlawful arrest? I don't know what we can make it. If y'all can see that the probable cause doesn't exist, wouldn't you rather do that than make an unlawful arrest? I'm sure our chief deputy is not as scared of the arrest that he's making or he wouldn't be making it. Well, your chief deputy doesn't know what he's doing, though. Yeah. Your chief deputy's a bad cop. He's what you call bad apple. You can tell that by the way he went hands-on like he did. And man, were you ever shaking, man? You are scary. I can't imagine what you'd be like with a gun. I've been working with cops for a long time, and they, every one of them would go, that guy is nothing but a danger, and he makes us all look bad. Wait till your videos come out. No, oh, wait, never mind, it just went out. It's already out. Ready for your phones to start ringing? <clears throat> but they look out for a while. You should not have done that, sir. You had no reason to do that. And then to handle her the way you did, a female? I can't believe you didn't stop him, Miss Long. I can't believe you didn't intervene. You should be ashamed of yourself for that. Bad cops are allowed to exist because good cops don't stop it. It's your duty. What makes you think people have to listen to you when you're not lawfully making a fan? If an officer is giving you an order, you obey it, and you challenge it in court. <laughs> well, I can tell by that ding in the kitchen, it's time to say goodnight. A little stuffing on the fire. Big tall glass of brown gravy on ice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty turkey leg. Anyway, good night. Happy Thanksgiving.